Hello all, in this tutorial we will model, texture and light a 3D stall using V-Ray in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So let's open 3ds Max and let's open the reference over here from the desktop. So this is a reference for your 3D stall. Let's start with it. So very first of all, let's take a plane over here. So first of all, let's draw a plane. Let's go to the top view. Go into AEC extended and take a wall over here. So let's draw a wall over here. That's it. All right. So now the next step is you can just resize this area a bit over here. <laughs> So you can just increase the size over here accordingly. So now you can do is go to the top view, take a line over here, draw a line right from the top view push this line up over here rendering enabling viewport and make it rectangular and increase its length so as you can see over here we have uh, adjusted this part accordingly so let's convert this wall into editable poly so let's go into the vertices and push this a bit out over here and we can also resize this part push this a bit up over here go into the vertices of this particular line and you can just push it over here that's it so you can select this also you can, you can just push it over here so select the vertices and you have a option over here that's your fillet so let's give a bit of a fillet option over here to give a bit of a curvy look over here go down you can increase its length a bit that's it all right so after you're done with this step now what you can do over here is you can click over here the above beveling part can also be done over here so width can be a bit increased over here so go into this increase a bit like this push this a bit so let's go onto the top view and take a line again and let's edit this line in the same manner so select the line over here push it over here select this line and you have a fillet option you can just edit with the fillet stuff over here and you can just push it up and make sure you make it as enable in viewport reduce the width and increase this length part over here and you can just push it on the top that's it so if you still require to increase its width you can do that stuff over here accordingly go into the vertices push it like this till here all right so go to the top view and if you're done with this you can definitely convert it to editable poly so you can just right click convert to editable poly you can just push this down and you can go to the edges and if you want to put some loops over here you can add some loops over here like this 
So this loops can be placed up accordingly. So you can just add one connect over here. So go to the polygon, select this polygon over here and give the extrude option like this. So you can just edit it in this particular way. So now go to the vertices over here and you can just push it like this. So let's save this file first. So you can just save the file, stall date 7. Well, and let's save this file. So now the next step over here is creating this stuff. So you can just push it over here. So you can go into this, take a rectangle, go onto this view, draw a rectangle over here. Just push this out and give a extrude modifier collapse. So before giving the extrude modifier, you can right click convert to editable spline, select all the vertices and there is an option over here called fillet. So you can definitely give a bit of a fillet option over here and you can give a extrude modifier over here that's it so you can just easily adjust this part over here in much better way so right click convert to editable poly so you can just select this and give a bit of inset that's it all right so you can just duplicate this stuff over here and go into the snap and make it as more 90 degree into 90 degree and you can place it over here so you can just easily place it over here that's it so let's save the file all right so for this lights you can easily use this part over here so you can use some cylinder over here so let's go into the standard and take a cylinder so oops I'm sorry so I need to convert to a readable poly and take a cylinder and make sure if you can also use a top view or also you can have some options over here so let's copy this stuff over here that's it all right so you need some more less lesser lights so so let's do one thing you can keep it at a bit of a far distance you can keep a bit of a far distance that's it all right so same thing this is going to happen so go on to the top view over here and just duplicate this over here that's it and duplicate it at the corner all right can just shift it a bit more inside that's it all right so as you can see over here we have uh, done this much part of it so you still require to make this part for that you can just save this file 
So let's go into this, take a line over here and enable in viewport, make a gradient of this auto grid and you can just utilize this stuff in this way like this over here or the corner so enable in viewport make it much more thinner that's it so you can go into the vertices and you can just push it up so if you still require to push this uh, wall a bit up you have more choices you can easily push this more up over here so you can just push it up so select this wall go into the vertices and you can just push it up if you want so you can just select it Sell so off deselect that part and you can just push this up that's it all right so let's go on to the top view again over here and let's take a cylinder over here so this is formed using a cylinder so you can just basically define a cylinder over here increase its height a bit and uh, you know you can reduce its segments and you can just squeeze it if you want it you can just squeeze this area over here and you can just push it up that's it all right so you can make a copy of it so as you have so you can easily uh, make a copy of it that's it you can easily make a copy of it and like to rotate it you can easily rotate it to over here all right so we'll save the file so that's for it today so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial